on to my friends going through this journey called life with me. My name is Weldon, and you're watching the Weldon Adiris MPT Journey. I want to let y'all know that my affiliate code, which will be right here, um, is going to be the Weldon Adiris MPT Journey, all lowercase, one word, no apostrophe like in the title, the Weldon Adiris MPT Journey. And that right there will get you $50 off for the discount code. It really runs and supports the channel, but I wanted to at least let y'all know that uh, I now have that affiliate code, the Weldon Adiris MPT Journey with Voro Motors. The description will be in the uh, the, th the link will be in the description, sorry. But yeah, I wanna let y'all know about that. Also, yes, I am reading a script right now. So basically, whenever you use that discount code, number one, it helps the channel out. With the discount code, the price will be around $3,145 for, for, the, for the scooter and everything like that. But keep in mind, that's for the Cabo Wolf King GT Pro. Any eMove or Cabo scooters, you can use a discount code for. So it doesn't have to necessarily be the one that I have. You can get a uh, eMove Roadrunner, any, any, any scooter that's eMove or Cabo, you can get. So therefore, uh, uh, you can use that 50 bucks on any of them, so that way you can get in, in the game and start riding one of these wonderful vehicles. All right, guys, I'm gonna let y'all go. Remember, life's a journey. Ride the tasty wave. Come on, baby, come on. All right, guys. Let the motorcycle go by right fast. Uh, all right, guys. Come here, baby. Come here. Today, I want to get back to you on an update about error code 5 on my Wolf King GT Pro. Again, like I've always told you every time I've uh, talked about my scooter for you, um, that's the reason I give you always the information, no no lies, no, straight, just the straight up truth is because Cabo or Voro did not give me this scooter. So therefore, I don't mind telling you the God honest truth about this scooter without having consequences. Straight up truth. I received error code five. Again, this is the update. I received error code five of my scooter coming home from work the other day. It was a Thursday night. I felt the power drop. And when the power dropped, I looked down at the screen Everything was still fine, but then when I looked back up, within a couple of seconds later, I heard a thump, and I felt it, and also heard it. So therefore, I was like, okay, soon. And I mean, the second I felt it and heard it, I looked down at the screen, the TFT screen, and literally the percentage for the battery goes from 100 to zero, and then shuts off and will not turn back on at all. I walk at home from there for about seven tenths of a mile. Whenever I walked at home, I was thinking, I was like, you know, I don't really feel like messing with this today at all, especially after I got off of work. I was like, I'll deal with it in the morning time on a, on a Friday, that way I have all day to mess with it. Woke up the next morning and started looking at YouTube to see what other people have said about it. And I've already told you I found that one video. Didn't really, under, didn't really uh, explain it very well. So I shut the video, off, YouTube video off, got on my phone, started to talk with Voro Motors. Honestly, guys, this was the best customer service I've had in a very, very long time. Yes, it took a week to get the battery warrantied. And the battery got warrantied, y'all. I forgot to tell you that. So it took about a week for everything to finally come up to being like extend was like okay we'll warranty your, your battery but it was a week of negotiation a week of uh, a week of talking to them a week of uh getting them what they needed for proof of the battery being messed up I had to own the battery out i had to show them inside the, the the deck to make sure that there was no water damage i had to uh show them a video of the scooter so that way they knew the scooter wasn't damaged in an accident or anything so on and so on there was just little steps that i had to keep going through each and every single day throughout the entire week so we finally got to the, the, the conclusion of he needs a new battery. So they're gonna uh, extend the extended warranty people, got a hold of me, said we're gonna return we're gonna warranty your battery. So they're sending it to me and I haven't got the confirmation date yet, but it is being sent. So I got the confirmation email that it will be sent to me. So that's 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 a big plus, y'all. Uh, yes, it's sad, but like I always told y'all, I'm not going to push something and sell something and talk highly of something whenever it doesn't match up. And honestly, the service, this, uh, the scooter, everything is matched up with the way I've been told from what, from, from uh, everything that, uh, for the reason I bought the scooter. I can actually 
say this is a good scooter to purchase, to, to be reliable. Yes, you have some issues. What, when don't you with electrical? But yeah, you have issues. That's why it's important, guys. It's very important to get the extended warranty. If you don't get the seat or anything else, get, at least get the extended warranty. Because after that year's up, it could be probably hard dealing with a, yeah, you can get parts and stuff, but with the extended warranty, it makes things move a lot more smooth. It makes things move without a lot of hassle. So I suggest getting the extended warranty if you don't get anything else for the scooter, at least get that. That way it gives you a little bit of comfort and a little bit of a ease whenever something goes wrong with the scooter. Yeah, you may not ever need it, but the fact is you got it if you do need it. It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. That's the way I've always looked at things. I want to get back on here to at least let y'all know that I, had, I did have to replace the battery. The battery after, okay, I didn't finish this part. So the battery went out. I, uh, uh, I talked to Zen at Vora Motors verbally over the phone and he couldn't instruct me on how to like go through some stuff to get the battery going again when that, when that first air code popped on. And everything was great for about a week. And then after that week was up, no mas. So I suggest always getting a hold of them and talking to their customer service through uh, the Chatra is what they call it on through Vora Motors website. I highly suggest if anything goes wrong with the scooter, contact them so that way they put it in the notes and that everything is everything is up to date with the errors and anything like that at all. So I highly suggest at least contacting them if, whatever, if you pop any error codes or anything at all, get a hold of them, let them know what's going on. Even if you know how to fix it, at least get on there and be like, hey, what can I do? So they, they have, they, 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 they noted what's going on with your scooter. And the way the next time you call off, it's the same thing again. It's been noted the last time you spoke to them about it. So I just want to get back here and let y'all know, give y'all the update because I don't want to leave y'all hanging. I want y'all to know what's going on step by step of the way with the scooter. I don't have any other scooters. That is my only scooter. So if uh, Vora Motors, uh, heck, any other scooter company wants to send me a scooter so that way whenever my scooter is down, I'll have, I, I can always have a backup scooter. If one I'm charging, I can always ride the other one. So I'll always take a free scooter if everyone wants to throw a scooter at me to review or to a... Uh, to, uh, to, to test out. So I'll always do this, always have something backed up. As of right now, what we're gonna do is, the weather's getting nice. Days are around highs at 96, 98. Lows at night times around 74, 76. So it's getting into camping and hiking season now. I don't know how long it's gonna take to receive this battery, but we may transition to uh, doing some hiking and some camping since the weather's getting to the right time now. I'll play that by ear. It's supposed to be raining all week long, so you never know. It's Texas, so they say it's gonna rain, then sometimes it doesn't. So what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna play it by ear. Uh, we're gonna get out and do stuff so I can still make videos. But yeah, I wanted to get on here and let y'all know what's going on. I'm going down. There you go. Now we know what's going, going on. All right, y'all, if there's anything at all, leave me a comment down the bottom, questions, whatever it may be. I'll get back to it as soon as I can. Usually it's right away. My phone will chime off. I'll see it. I'll get to it. But I'm having some issues with my phone right now. So I can go to my computer. So yeah, send me a comment. Send me questions. Send me anything you want to. <coughs> I'll get to you. I'll get back to you. <coughs> I'll answer. And if I don't know the answer, I'll get a hold of somebody that does and get the proper answer for you. Remember, life's a journey. Ride the tasty way.